<clears throat> one of the things that they've done is they've caused people to lose faith and that's part of what they want and these, this is <clears throat> it's important to understand that they want this to, to appear uh, let, me, let me back off for a second and let me just rewind this <clears throat> through divine compassion and the power of an idea and the fulfilment of a belief it comes down to this whether we realise it or not or can reconcile it in our mind or not everything comes from a single source and everything has returned to a single source and there is no higher or powerful source than the divine all comes from the divine all is the divine this certainly must be a statement of pure logic and, and common sense this now means that there is only one thing standing against the healing of this planet the healing of our families the healing of our communities the restoring of our jobs the restoring of our homes only one thing and it's not spiritual it's temporal because whether we can reconcile it in our minds or not whether our faith has reached that enlightened point of understanding or not which is why I shared you the idea that and not this idea but the promise the miracle fulfilled that the dead have risen in death and in life we are witnessing the miracle before our eyes we are the miracle that is there is no spiritual adversary against us anymore not one the spirit is united the spirit is one it is only a small band of flesh that stands against healing a small band of flesh cut off they can kill as many children as they like they're not going to get a single message spiritually they can run every curse they like it's just going to rebound on them they can arrogantly say that they represent Satan and, and not a single spirit will verify that they are cut off from themselves their history, their beliefs they believe in nothing and still in spite of everything that has been told to them they refuse to yield we are only talking about a small band of spirits carnated in flesh in this temporal realm that stands between the fulfilment of a promise and the world as it is today that's it and I just wanted to share that in a very important point because I do know that one of the things they love us to do is return to the concept that the spirit is divided that heaven is still in war there is no war in heaven anymore the war in heaven is over it's one who won? the divine one the divine is one there is only this small band of a few thousand with a few hundred thousand of their most loyal agents keeping this planet as hell but every time they die our job gets easier every time they go to sleep and don't wake up it gets easier every time an ecclesiastical deed poll gets issued and they dishonour it gets easier we cannot lose because the war has been won but it is a question though people need to see they need to see because their, their, their faith has been smashed as these temporal flesh bound psychopaths have wanted it to be but they are worried believe me they are worried they are scared they are frightened and this has never happened before but it really comes down to how many people you can talk to and share with how many people can read and know and see the power of these words their words not my words their words I didn't write the Bible I didn't make these promises I'm a man like you but when people see in your actions how powerful these words are when you become the word and when they become the word then the word is unstoppable so I really hope that, that and, and I really would love to hear some feedback 
from from any of you. And Lee, you've you've, you've done more than enough to share some wonderful stuff tonight. But please share some more if you feel compelled. But I would love to hear from well, the call. Uh, your feeling on, on on getting the message. I, I would like to just comment on just what you said just for a second. I think I finally got a message, and it was just very interesting in my mind. It is until we effectively serve the deep hole, it is their dishonor that allows us to win. They yes. lose. Yes. And so if we don't file them, they win. Well, we should be easily, yeah, but no, yes, it's just, yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is when we file the, the deep pool and they dishonor it, like they did today, yep. they lost, we won. Through yep. them denying, okay, I, 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 I get it. <laughs> I get it. Good. I, I looked in the mirror, I see. <laughs> it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a it's lot. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it, it's I, I've understood a long time that black was white and white was black, but until I when I seen the actual deep hole and how we presented it, it, it just makes all the sense in the world. It's very clear. Well, you witnessed something today, Lee, and so you you are a witness now to something very special, and that is I I, I can say this to the cow and come home, but it's just one my words. But when you look at the deep pole and as it is written, it says quite clearly, that deep pole, when it is sealed in blood, is a notice from whom? It is a notice of what from whom? It's from the living spirit. And more, bigger. It's on a spiritual nature. Yeah, but it's from it's from a singularity being what to them? What is it? I didn't. Would you repeat that, please? What when when you when you look at it in its most powerful form presented to them in their courts, it's a notice of what, from whom? Well, it's a notice from the uh, from the living spirit to the. Uh, I'm lost for words right now. It is. That is something much, much bigger than that, Lee. What else is it on top of that? What what does it say? In the what does it actually say in the deep pole, in the in the instructions of the deep pole? It actually says it in the canons. Well, it's a notice yeah, sir. from whom? Yeah. Or what? It's a notice from where from Canon 1559. Can someone read that out, please? Canon 1559. Anyone? Somebody else? <laughs> Canon 1559. Okay, it's from the divine immortal spirit. That's right. But can someone read out that Canon 1559? Just so we've got it clear in our minds. Whoops, sorry, I'll change that. That link won't work. One sec. Okay. Anyone? Yeah, I've got a Mac here. Name of the My system works differently than Terry, can you read that out for us? Canon one five five nine, please. I can read it. This is Jan. Oh, thanks, Jan. Far away. Uh, when an ecclesiastical depot is issued, it is under the Supreme Court of One Heaven with the full authority of the Divine Creator in all inferior courts, including the Sacred Rhoda. Hence the term Procurium Divina uh, is always included to make clear to the inferior Roman person the absolute authority of the instrument. Okay. And then can you read 1560, which is actually the one that answers that question to, to Lee? Yeah. Thanks, Jed. Sure. While a true person issues an ecclesiastical depot, it is ultimately a divine notice of protest and dishonor from the divine creator. Therefore, the dishonor of an ecclesiastical depot is the most grievous 
injury of the law and blasphemy to all believed to be divine. There you go. Thank you, Jed. So, Lee, you see the Thank power. You. Hmm? I that that is very very powerful, and no wonder we had a uh, a very upset judge sitting on the bench today when he listed all those papers up, and he kind of shyly said. I just don't really understand this, and then he dismisses the case immediately. The man did not tell us the truth. He understood very well. Well, so should when you send an ecclesiastical deed poll, do you think we should send a copy of this page of the uh, the uh, the Canonist Deus Positivum? No, they, they can read. <laughs> okay. I, sh- I assure you they're reading. Reading's not their problem. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Frank? Can you hear us, Frank? Yeah. Ed, would you agree? Reading's not, not the problem for them. Yeah? <laughs> well, said, it's not our job to teach them. No. They're, they're reading this. Don't, don't you worry. They are reading this. It's It's that they don't want to believe and their arrogance won't let them believe. That's their problem. Their arrogance and their ignorance um, and their unwillingness against the fact that the united forces of heaven and hell, every angel, every demon, every spirit, every soul is against them and still they won't yield to the last man. They will not yield. Hence the Day of Judgment, 2011. Um, well, as I say, I'm, I'm in your hands what you want to talk about. I know we're talking about some pretty big issues tonight, <clears throat> but they are relevant. How are, pe- are people getting the word out? That's what I want to know. How are you going in sharing this knowledge with others that you know? Can, can someone tell me your experiences on that? thoughts on that, how we do it? Well, I think, Frank, in everyday life, uh, first, just because we read it and we have the knowledge, we must live it. We must be the testimony that carries forth the truth in our surrounding friends and liable. Today, in last week as we walked out of the courtroom we had very beggared people that were so beat down they said to us thank you you stood up and faced that judge like nobody we have ever seen the county attorney had his entire staff sitting in the jury box watching Walter and us talk before the judge we had a judge tell the county attorney sit down and shut up because he was ready to retire and he didn't want anything to happen to him. And we today, when we walked in, they said, who are you three? We are that we are. Are you lawyers? No. What do you do? All these questions. And then surely but clearly we could start sharing this stuff. And as you do those things in every, I don't care if you're getting the oil changed at the, at the, uh, you know, quick lube. You can share this. But you must live it and understand it as we live and understand the scriptures. That's my opinion. Well said, Lane. Well, how, how, I mean, Lee, you've, as I say, it's been fantastic. Um, now, I mean, I've spoken with, with many of you before. I know a lot of people are in a listening mode tonight, but please chip in. Um, it doesn't, you know, people may have different opinions, might have, they may agree, but, but please chip in and share what you think. How, how, how do other people feel in their way? You know, you, you know lots of people. You know lots of people who are in pain. People who are facing foreclosures, for example. People who uh, are in prison and are facing prison. People who are facing tax issues. So please, um, 
rather than just on Lee, because Lee, Lee has been brilliant and eloquent, and I think, if they don't mind me saying,